Dear friends, in this tutorial, we will learn about the VLOOKUP function and HLOOKUP function. Both functions are a referencing function in Excel, which are used to reference a data to match with a table array or group of data and display the output. The difference between this referencing function is that VLOOKUP uses to reference with a column and HLOOKUP uses to reference with a rows. So both are very useful function but their working style is different. So let's start with this session. VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP function stands for vertical looping. It searches for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then it returns the value in the same row. So this uh, from a column you specify in the table so use vlookup instead of hlookup when your comparison results are located in a column to the left of the data you want to find out so this is the syntax here if you want to find out company name on the basis of product id then your vlookup function will be equals to vlookup a2 it means your cell address of product id then select the range like a9 to d13 after that here if you want to know then company name mention the number 2 because of company name is on the second number at last mention 0 it will check the condition if it is true then it will show the company name so it will see look at here this is the name of the company and you can also try here uh, to find out the price of the um, that particular product and quantity also just change the value in the column uh, number value and you will uh, get the answer H lookup in excel stands for horizontal lookup it is a function that makes excel search for a certain value in a row so in order to return a value from a different row in the same column here if you want to know the employee name through the H lookup function then just type equals to H lookup in bracket mention b2 this is your employee name column address and then select the range like uh, um, a6 to d11 and then uh, mention the uh, row number 6 because here we want to search the john and at last mention 0 it will search if it is true then it will show the employee name function within function you can use function within function like here given equals to round in bracket average and then range a1 to a8 here given and here one one is your uh, digit to the right of the decimal point it will show so whenever we are using this expression it would first compute the average of all the value from the cell a1 through a8 and then round the result to one digit to the right of the decimal point. So this is a very important function whenever you want to use two function at the same expression. I hope you understood very well about the HLOOKUP function and VLOOKUP function that's all for this video. Dear friends, please like, share and subscribe this video.